might not be relevant or usable or I don't know to you. But people actually have to come out and say, oh, I was there. I saw this, this happened. But how exactly are they going to come out to say that or to do that if they have no hope in the system? So the reason they're asking to know how it is going, what is happening on, and when it is happening, is so that other people who can come out to say meaningful things that would help the society at large will have the courage mm -hmm. to come up and say, okay, yes, I can actually say this and do this and something will be done about it. That something will not be done about it is the major fear. And as long as that fear exists, I'm afraid that we might not be able to do anything. So once again, thank you so much, sir, for giving us so much hope with this conversation and we are simply hoping for the best. Thank you. And, um, sorry, I'll just say this for the last, I'll try and make this my last. <laughs> okay, because you know me, I I have raised a lot of youths, young ones, and I, I have a lot of youths that I'm raising, so they bring a lot of um, questions to me. Our children, we also grew up with the fear of knowing that you can come out openly and be threatening people and not get repercussions for it. We need you, sir, to help us look into the law or those that are writing the law to help us take this to them that we, are, we as parents, we are very much concerned because our children now believe that when you come on social media and threaten anybody, nothing will happen because they believe that the police force believes that that social media is just a child's play. To them, it is not a child's play. We need to accept the fact that social media has come to stay for now. And a lot of our young ones learn and pick up a lot of things from social media. So if you come on social media and you try to in somebody's life and you get away with it, you are actually teaching another child that he or she can do same. And they don't just, and you, you know children, when you give them one thing, and they do it and you don't caution them about it you know they will do two three four and five yeah. and then before you know killings will start to happen because if they can come and threaten your life and nothing is done they can also come and kill you on life and expect that nothing will be done because you have not gone to the police to report it they need there has to be a law where these young ones need to know or the elderly ones or whoever it is that you cannot come on social media and threaten people's life and there will not be a repercussion for it. Thank you. Maybe we need a social media check. It could be uh, 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 among the, uh, 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 maybe an office needs to be created in the Lagos Police Command. Lagos is a set of SLS and I believe other police commands will, 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 will follow up, will imitate good things from Lagos Police Command. Probably, sir, maybe you should create a social media dex whereby there's an officer so that it probably it might reduce the burden of the PRO. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 an officer dedicated, an office dedicated to receive complaints from the social media mm -hmm. on cyberbullying, on harassment, on, on things that emanate from social media. So that they know that okay, if I go to at Lagos Police Command um, uh, uh, public uh, uh, of, uh, office desk, a, a, a Twitter handle should be created purposely for that. It would it will stay this guy. That's what you want. Sorry, sorry, please. That's what you want. I'm saying. In the foreign world, if you come on, yeah, yeah, that's part of it. But in the foreign world, you cannot go on social media and start threatening somebody's life. <laughs> I'm sure before that social, before that life ends. The, the, there's going to be a tax force at your door. So that's what I'm saying. There has to be a rapid response for that. That when you come on social media and chasing anybody's life, that person needs to be picked up. So that these children will not think that it's, it's fun for you to come and chasing anybody's life and then you will not get a repercussion for it. It will slow down the rate at which all this gang fighting and um, killing and um abuse and threat is happening because many times um, um this boy mobad came on social media did join these people that were harassing him and nothing was done nothing was done and that was why they kept all these other videos that is now circulating they had it but when they released one or two three and nothing was done they kept the rest because they kept telling them that if you put it on social media it's no longer in evidence and so that is why 
this other bad eggs that feels that uh, if we go and harass him and he records us, nothing's going to happen. They keep coming to do it, and it's not like they're just harassing them. They come out and then they actually actualize it by going out, beating them, stabbing them, doing a whole lot of things to them. Sir. So once anybody comes on social media to harass anybody, there should be a rapid response that is monitoring all these things that will go for them. Because I know that your humble office can do this for us, sir. So that we can keep our children safe. It's very important, sir. Okay, just uh, two minutes.